today we are flying off to Turkey with Qatar uh, Airways. And we came here super super early because that we need to visit uh, two different lounge. And then we are going to try to check in with the uh, the check-in counter at Dua. Yes, because we are early, so there is an early check-in counter at Dua. Now we are at the Jua uh, early checking counter. Our mm. flight is at uh, 920 pm if I'm not wrong. Yes. Let's check in now. We have got our boarding pass. Yes. Gold color. Not sorry, it's silver color. Not color. Yes. I haven't drunk yet. So uh just a little note. Uh you can do your early check-in over here at Jewel. Mm -hmm. Uh if you're if you are three hours earlier yeah. than your scheduled departure time. By right, we can check in at the Terminal 1, yes. but we just want to experience how to check in. Yes. Uh, we will not suggest to go there. It's a little bit noisy. Yeah, over here, right, the, in front of us is the SETS Premier Check-in Lounge, and you can do your early check-in over here as well. Um, mm -hmm. It feels a little bit more exclusive. exclusive. After we clear immigration, we are on our way to the lounge. The first lounge that we are going to visit for this journey is the Qantas Lounge. Let's go. So this is the British Airway Lounge and it has the SATS Lounge and Qantas Lounge and the Thai Airways Lounge. And we are going to the Qantas Airways Lounge first, the Qantas Lounge first. This way, please. The lounge is open at 2.30 p.m. daily. Hello. Hi, good afternoon. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Shelly. Thank you. We are now seated in the Qantas lounge in Terminal 1. And um, over here, right, in the dining, they not only have the buffet table, they also have uh, all the dining main courses. So uh, there are two selections today. It's one of them is the prawn noodle soup, and the other one is the rose pork belly with gong bao cauliflower. And this is uh, branded as gluten free. So um, you can see over here the very little touches um, of service that they actually go to to actually make their passengers uh, happy and contented. So this is the pork belly with gong bao cauliflower. Can you see? I'm going to give it a taste to see how the pork belly is done. Given that it's, the kitchen must be in Singapore, so it should be of a certain standard. <laughs> Mm. It is indeed done very well. Um, the pork belly is not too salty because sometimes um, some of the pork belly are roasted um, and they became very salty. And this one is very nice and soft. The meat is not tough and uh, the skin actually has got a very nice crispy and crusty feel to it. I'm going to try the prawn noodle now. Let me try the soup first. It's not the type that I like, but um, the, they put a lot of prawn to cook the soup. It's very nice. Mm. The noodle is very well cooked. I think the Qantas lounge is much better than the Silver Chris. 
Ah, lunch. Mm, yes, I think the quality of the food is the really very nice. Yeah, I think uh, the and design and it won't feel like way too much decorated. Yes, it's, everyone are very casual. It's simple, bright, and spacious, mm. and we particularly like the selection of wines. Oh, yeah. It's so very, now we very are good. going to the British, British Airways Lounge. Lounge. The food here looks quite nice. Coffee machines. Wow, excuse me. Why? We are heading to the boarding gate. Yes. Both lounge are nice to us, mm. uh, but I prefer the Qantas lounge. What about you? Um, I go with Jim. I prefer the Qantas lounge as well mm. for its bright and spacious ambiance. And the uh, food tastes better, selection mm. is much better, drink selection is much better. Very good. Yeah, I think the only negative point about the Qantas lounge mm -hmm. is the staff. It's way too aggressive to clean out the plate. They are very enthusiastic. Yeah. And we, then... Yeah. We haven't finished our food can and they ask, can we clear? Yeah. Uh, is this for clearing? Yeah. <laughs> well, it's a good thing though if they have a very clean table. Yeah. And I like the British Airways lounge which is this very quiet. Oh yes, uh, mm. that is a plus point as well. Mm. So it depends on what you want. Yeah, uh, what I can suggest that we can do like what we do is like go to the Qantas lounge mm. to eat and drink first and then go to a quiet place. Uh, yeah. It's quite comfortable, the seat is very comfortable yes. there. So actually, all in all, this vlog actually serves to inform you mm. of the lounge that you can actually use when you travel with Qatar Airways and you have an early check-in and mm. you don't know how to spend your time. So you can actually go lounge hopping like what we did. <laughs> good evening. Hello, good evening. Hi. How are you doing? Very good. Mr. Hong, enjoy your yeah. flight. Thank this you. Way. Hello, how are you? Is it cold? How are you? Is it cold? I think my seat will be 5D. will be over. Hello. Hello. Hi, how are you? Hey, hi, how are you? Hello. Thank you. Hi, good evening. Hi. 5D will be over here. Hi, Sean. So this is my seat. Have you on your mic already? Yes, I Very did. Good. So Welcome to our Q suite. And check out the pillow is already there. Hey. Beautiful destination. Yes. Often is. lead to everlasting memories. <laughs> so Ooh. at this at the middle seat there's no overhead compartment at the top. And then right over here the reading light is over here. It's very spacious. Yes, right. That's yeah. right. So okay. let us settle down first, and then we will continue to vlog. Yes, right in front of me, the screen. There is uh, some adjustment button right over here, very practical. And then, hmm. And then the amenity bag will be right over here, placed before uh, depart. And then the blanket, the pillow, and the seat adjustment right over here. Do not disturb reading light. Uh, take off and landing position and having meal position, lounge position, flat bed, massage fun function, and the pressure on the limbs support, and then the angle adjustment and the position adjustment. And I believe this must be the touch control. Yes, it is. And right over here, you get the USB uh, charger over here and a universal power plug over here. This uh, ear plug, uh, power plug, and I think this is for you to purchase, make the purchasing, and then you can use it for the uh, payment. I'm very happy with the legs room. It's very comfortable position right over here. So here is a uh, overhead compartment for you to store your baggage. So I particularly like the in-flight entertainment system because of the fact that you know um, I can show you. The remote control is actually a very sleek design and it resembles a mobile phone. It's actually um, very, very intuitive and it's very sensitive to touch. 
Another feature which I particularly like is the fact that the charging ports are actually immediately in front of you. So as you are charging your mobile devices, you can have um, direct access and easy reach for your mobile devices. And then um, another good thing is the tray table. So um, it's actually a very big space for your dining pleasure as well as for you to actually do a bit of your work. And there's a headlamp over here that is adjustable so that when the cabin lighting is very dim, you can actually just on the headlamp and adjust it to your own comfort to do your own work or for your own dining pleasure. Now then actually I noticed there is one USB port right over here and there's one HDMI port right over here and there is the uh, ambient light over here which is I can off the legs room light. We are now in the cruising phase and uh, so the seatbelt sign is off. We are going to give you an introduction of some of the things that we have not mentioned uh, during the on ground. So this is the amenity bag, it's by Briggs. We are going to show you what is inside. So it looks like that and if you open it, there's actually like a little wire frame at the mouth of the bag. Let's see what's inside. So there's an eye shade. There's a pair of socks. There is a... I think this is a body lotion or hand lotion. And then a lip balm. This is a facial mist. And very important to shut off the noise of the engine. This is a earplug. So that's all. Besides the amenity bag, there is also pajamas from the white company. So a pair of pajamas. And also with the pajamas, there is a pair of bedroom slippers. It's called a Q Suite for a reason because after takeoff, if you want your own privacy, all you need to do is there's a compartment for you to store your belonging. It's a little bit small. Uh, then the earphone is right over here, and the drinking water is Evian water. But the features that I like the most is actually this one. You can lift up, uh, lift up, and then it can become the armrest. It's very practical for me. Now in the uh, toilet <coughs> after takeoff. So as uh, we have shown you earlier, we have um, a pair of pajamas from the white company. So I'm going to change it right now. I have changed into the pajamas from uh, the slipper suits from the white company and allow me to give you a short tour of the toilet while I'm inside here. So right in front of me is a mirror of course and over at this side is uh, some tissue paper and then they have this uh, body mist uh, by Rituals and this is the ultra caring hand lotion by the same brand rituals as well there are some little paper cups for you to rinse your mouth as well as some paper hand towels for you to wipe your hands after you have washed them and this is the waste bin over here and this uh, sink over here is actually uh, there is actually temperature controlled water so you can have hot or cold water and then it's uh, touch it's actually sensor so activated by a um, sensor and this is the um, hand soap by Rituals and right over here is the uh, no smoking sign 
and then there is the call attendant button and there is also a power outlet for you to plug in your shaving kit if any. This is the flush button for the porcelain throat and over here is where you can get the toilet seat cover and if you push and release this is a drawer that contains a um, shaving kit as well as a roll of toilet roll uh, the toilet papers are over here and there is even uh, um, disposal you need for you to put in your stringers for passengers who need to use stringers during the phase of flight. So if we swing our attention towards the door, there's a little hook over here for you to hang your clothes and this is where you lock the door. There are wrap holes, one, two, for you to hang on in case of turbulence and there is also a grab hole over here there is also a hook over here for you to hook your clothes and a little full length mirror for you to check your grooming as you can see I have the slippers by the white company on as well and immediately above the toilet bowl is where there is a baby changing pad which can be deployed for the convenience of parents. So this is all in all an uh, introduction of the toilet. I am going to I'm going to change the pyjamas now and then let's have a quick tour about the washroom. I'm choosing the pilot washroom now. It's a little bit uh, narrow and then here's a very cute white I believe. Yeah, it's a way for you to clean up the toilet seat and then this is the toothbrush, hand soap, body mist, body lotion, paper, uh, cup, paper cup, and then, uh, hand towel, facial towel, and uh, a weird half length mirror that you can see your face so I can see your bottom part. And also right here you can deploy this I can sit down to change now uh, we are comfortably seated after we change into our pajamas and uh, so I'd uh, like to showcase the use of the uh, seat modes so now I want to go into the uh, lounge position all I need to do is to do a long press over here and then if I want to go into a flat bit position All their upholstery and all the fixtures and fittings within the aircraft is all very refined um, There is nothing, there is no little flaw that you can make on them actually um, Like in some of the other airlines you may have uh, some of the seats seat products where the seats may be a bit frail, the leather may be worn off but I think they still maintain it in a very tip-top uh, condition. Our first impressions on board Qatar Airways it's uh, a very good one and we hope that it will maintain all the way until we arrive in Istanbul and back to Singapore. Now I'm going to have my uh, appetizer. Very 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 small appetizer right over here. If you can see from the screen, um, this is a uh, crab meat and yuzu mozzarella, blah blah blah. So let me try it now. <laughs> it looks very cute. Let me try the crab meat. Mm. Oh, an edamame puri. <laughs> Nice, we are appetizing. I'm not very hungry, so I decided to order something light from their light option. And I opted for the afternoon tea, although it's like past midnight already. <laughs> so, um, over here you can see there's a nice little platter of uh, desserts, scones, as well as sandwiches. 
and then on top of that there's also clotted cream strawberry jam and butter to go along after the appetizer uh, i also ordered the soup and they also uh, come with three different types of bread served warm and then three different types of olive oil with the uh, vinegar flavored vinegar and let me try the soup first oh wow this is my appetizer uh, i have no idea that uh what i had ate earlier but something tastes very good uh this is the crab meat yuzu with the edamame puri let me try the crab meat and the edamame puri at the same time holy mama wow the flavor bursts up when immediately that when i put the crab meat into my mouth i am actually a little bit full <laughs> uh, and now then come the main course is the scallop and king prawn risotto when the steward place the uh, risotto it actually smell a little bit fishy let me try the scallop first Fishy. And let me try the king prawn. Oh, oh. Fishy. Let me try the risotto. tasteless so um, maybe I'm very full or maybe it's just a very bad meal but um, I will try my best to clear this up after having the high tea right um, I was flipping through the menu and I decided to order the ice cream so I ordered and then thank you so actually it's a whole range of desserts it's not only I was about to say this doesn't look like ice cream to me <laughs> so this is like the one of the uh, pastry and then this is the ice cream I'm going to try this dessert it looks like um, some bread pudding this is the ice cream Still frozen.
I had a very good sleep. I hope I can sleep longer. What about you? Yeah, it was really very comfortable. And uh, so we have landed in Doha. And now we are on our way. We are waiting for the aircraft door to open. And then we will be on our way to the business lounge. We will have seven hours connecting the flight. <laughs> uh, never mind. We will explore the lounge and have a good sleep. Yes. And then we will take the aircraft. Uh, 330 to Istanbul. Yep, let's go. We are going to take the aerobounds. Thank you. Bye. Wow, it's hot outside. And check out the engine and the winglet is so beautiful. First thing now, we need to find a lounge and then I need to get a room to sleep and shower. Very sticky. Yeah, a little bit about the arrival and transit. So upon arrival, uh, you actually need to be um, clear security screen again mm. uh, before you can proceed to the transfer area. Right. So, Just let us uh, look for the lounge. Yes, we are going to the Al Mojan lounge this is for the business class passengers and i've read about it it's supposed to be one of the biggest lounges wow. in the world <laughs> hey that's the big it actually looks ugly yeah not so cute <laughs> yeah right yeah lounge. <laughs> <laughs> it looks very busy right over here even now it's like 4 a.m. The lounge will be right at the front. Police Sean is going to take photo, right? 